I may combine today's today's vlog and tomorrow's vlog to the uh, you know in one. With that creek road flow. Yeah. All right, I'll stop by. All right, I'll stop by. All right, bye. Bye. So, oh. going to Lauren's because I'm so bored just sitting here watching videos in a room that's too small for me. The written steady hand, I stay persistent, and that was one take. Y'all niggas take two. I got you second place, niggas running like camera crews. Yeah, you know the boy smooth with it, Jay Boogie. From them high school days when the boy was playing hooky, like I was waiting after class for your thick ass, just for you to text me on the low with some riffraff. Like what the fucking? No, I don't want to. What the fuck? So we're going to Lake City to go. Um, there's these. These girls, they don't want to pay Jimmy, pretty much, for their services. But we're gonna go pick up um, my brother-in-law's check. Um, he works in Lake City. We're gonna go there, and then we're going to ShopRite. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Oh yeah, Taco Bell. You can tell my taco story. Yeah, then you can, yeah, you'll you'll hear a taco story later. I was about to say, why does that person have that many baskets? That's what I was thinking. I was like, why the fuck? That's, they're selling them evidently, but I didn't see it for sale sign. Me either. So it's like they just really like baskets. Yeah. I've already been sitting here for a little bit. Okay, um, that was all on mute. So we we're just talking about circles, and some people. <laughs> yeah. No, a roundabout. Circles, uh, roundabout. Circle intersection. Circle intersection. And how they totally suck. This one literally has a street running through the middle of it. But then now you gotta merge because there's another street there. There's six streets that link into vision and moved off intuition. I doctor with the written steady hand, I stay persistent. And that was one take. Y'all niggas take two. I got you second place, niggas running like camera crews. Yeah, you know the boy smooth with it, J Boogie. From them high school days when the boy was playing hooky. Like I was waiting after class for your thick ass. Just for you to text me on the low with some riffraff. Like what the fuck it was, and I would tell you what it was. It got me calling you about your name. I did that shit in public and your friends they love to judge it talk about reminiscing now it's just me and my nigga skits and we on a mission never grounded by limits or tripping off of these gimmicks and i know that y'all love it and y'all hate to admit it look so tell me that you love this because i ain't put nothing above this no so tell me that you love this because i ain't put nothing above this so no. i say it to y'all and I say it directly, cause we was more than just family if I remember correctly And that's the point that I proved, cause we was boys in the day So when we link up on occasion, nigga, what do we say? Like, yo, the fam all good, my nigga Alright, so we're at Taco Bell Anyway I was told that you have a story to tell about Taco Bell Yeah, when I lived in Las Vegas, right? Okay, not that Taco Bell's bad, but it's not the best when it comes to Mexican food yeah. So when you live out west, it's like. But, so I, the first time I ever went to this place called Del Taco. Oh, I, Del Taco. I ordered two burritos. There was a car. There was like five of us in a car. I was like, let me get a macho beef burrito, okay? Not knowing exactly how macho these things are. We pull up to the window, this huge bag, and my brother-in-law almost grabs it, almost drops it, he's so heavy, and starts to drive off, and the lady's like, hey, 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 you still got like three other bags. We opened up the bag, and the burritos were like the size of hoagies. And ever since then, that place is just the best taco. I still haven't had one yet, and I want one. I also want to go to- um, in and out in and out yep. <laughs> you should have put it in your hand like this. Here, dump it in my hand. Dump it in my hand. <laughs> So I eat. He ate only two little things. I had to eat this whole box. I well, ate, I didn't eat the box. I ate a taco and like three quarters. <laughs> Give me half hour, you'll be ready to go. <laughs> Don't put that in there, dude. I'm hungry. Now that Ali said pizza, I was like, oh, fuck. Jesus. 
Hey, are you trying to? Yeah. Oh. Try in there. So it's it was supposed to rain today, but now and then it was supposed to be cloudy. Now it's just now it's just really sunny out. Like it's ridiculous, but. My sister came over, I think a couple more people are coming over, and I'm actually off today. Um, the doctor that I work for isn't going to be in today, so yeah. But it seems like it's going to be a good day so far. You all right, like I just been so busy, I can't be Snapchat in my life. So we just sit back and reminisce and talk about their memories. And act like we was the friends that we pretend to be. See, this is what I've been. So it's a pretty normal day. It turned out to be beautiful. It was supposed to be cloudy all day, but look at this. Beautiful. But now we have a pretty big barbecue going on. We got a bunch of people inside. More people are coming. So it's late at night. Um, there's a lot of music going on. I may combine today's today's vlog and tomorrow's vlog to the uh, you know in one so we can see how it is because other than that it's it's too dark now I can't film anything you see we're all down there and you can't see anything because it's just a fire so I'm sorry about that maybe next time you guys have a great night and I'll see you next time I don't know my nigga, nah, these just some questions. So every time I'm stressing, hit that booth like a confession.